Have you heard of Calvary? Yeah, Jesus died for all you and me and shed his blood with one desire. Oh, oh. Christ Restoration Bible Church International is commissioned by God to preach the gospel of salvation and restoration to all the nations of the world. God has mandated us to bring healing to the sick, hope to the hopeless, reconciliation to homes, freedom to the captives, deliverance to the oppressed, help to the needy, and prophetically restores destinies around the globe. Are you depressed, oppressed, sick, poor, afflicted, broken, wounded, marital issues, under bondage, barren, jobless, or homeless, and family crisis? Don't forget, the Bible says in Psalms chapter 34, verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of all of them. Worship with us and meet Jesus Christ at Christ Restoration Bible Church International, aka Solution Arena. As you will receive your prophecy, healing, and deliverance through the anointed prophet God, Prophet SMIB, and Prophetess Faith IB at CRBCI Abuja. Christ Restoration Bible Church International present Word of Restoration. Welcome to the Word of Restoration. Put your hand together for the Lord. And to wave your hanky. Why not wave it for Jesus? Because the prophet is in the house. He has declared and it shall come to pass. Wave it for Jesus. The heaven is open, backing me up Amen. to deliver and to do some prophetic things that God has taught us how to do. Amen. I see you possessing your possession. Amen. The word is from the Bible. The Bible is our companion. And this is the manner of the Christian. He's speaking to you. From the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. Are you there? Verse 12 and 13. Yes, he said, Let me read to you. The Lord shall open unto thee. His good work treasures the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season and to bless all the work of thy hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations yeah. And thou shalt not borrow. Amen. In other words, after finishing this message, if you have ever borrowed, and if you are right now thinking, where am I going to pay these debts? Before we run up this message, uh -huh, the status is going to change. Amen. Is going to change to lender. He said, You will lend to many nations. Verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Amen. And thou shalt be above only. Amen. You will be above only. Nothing more than that. No alternative. You will always be above. It is recorded. And I've said it to you. And it enter your spirit. And it shall come to manifestation today. Amen. That you be the head. Not the tail. Amen. And you will be above. Always. Beloved one. Let me talk to you. The life is full of so many challenges. The challenges is to make you, to upgrade you, to update you. It's not to bring you down. So many times we face challenges. 
And before you know it, we are even leaving the church. Before we know it, we are giving out our responsibility. Before we know it, we are telling God we are no longer with you because of what you are passing through. I want you to know a word has been released to you. Even before you were born, it has already been said that Mr. John will not borrow, but you will lend to many nations. And it has been said that you will be the head and not the tail. What can you say about Joseph? What can you say about Joseph? God bless Joseph. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. What you are passing through today may look like challenge to you. What you are seeing right now may look like, you know, these things, how long will I continue in this man? I want to tell you, God said you will be the head. On top of that challenges you are going to, you will be the head. Joseph was a slave and inside slavery, he was the head. He was the head. He was made to be the minister, the first minister in the land of Egypt. There was no position like that before he came. But because of Joseph, that position was created. Today, the Lord is creating your position. Amen. Because of this, your challenges, I see you moving up there. Amen. Because of what you are passing through, I see, yeah, yes, I know, if not because of what you are passing through today, a lot of us here we will not be here. But because you are here, it's not only resolving your challenges. God is dealing with your foundation. God is repositioning you. God is bringing you out and putting you on top. He said you will be the head. How many of you know head is always at the upper side? The upper side. And that is what God is telling you. Whether you are passing through challenges is not the issue. But it has already been said that you will be the head. Receive it. Don't allow your emotions. Don't allow people to push you down. You have nothing to gain if you follow the devil. The devil has nothing to offer. God has decided and he sent his son Jesus to die for you so that that problem challenges you are passing through we have a solution if you see Jesus you see solution in other words if you have Jesus in your life it therefore means solution is by your side two for seven today I see your eyes opening and you are holding on to that solution God has given to you most of the time God gives us solution and we don't know that the solution has been released. We keep on battling or going to the area where you cannot get solution because you can't hear God. But today I see God opening your ear. I see you now hearing from God. And God is telling you move this way and you follow God. Because let me tell you anyone that is disobedient to the Lord cannot receive from God. God cannot move with you. When God is saying, right now my son rise up, go to Suleja and you are asking God, why must I go to Suleja? I want to remain in Dawaki. I want to go to Gabiki. In fact, I want to go to United States, not even Suleja. You need to obey the voice of God 247 because this God we follow will never disappoint you. Even the whole world, before the whole world was formed, Jesus Christ was already part of it. The book of John. He said from the beginning, is this man, Jesus Christ, who came like a man to pay the price. He has paid for that price. He has paid for what you are passing through. And when you are connected to him, I see you coming out from that situation. Look at Joseph. Look at Joseph. Listen to me. I want you to know this world we are in, you have to be yourself. You have to be ready to fight the devil. You cannot be a friend to the devil no matter. And the devil will say, I will not near you. You can't be a friend to the devil. When you are a friend to the devil, hey, he's resident in your house 247. He's just like a policeman. 
You cannot be a friend to a policeman and the policeman refuse to arrest you when they say go and arrest. He must arrest you. Listen, this devil has been parading himself, trying to impose himself, even from the foundation. When God was doing his work, devil jumping. Open the book of Genesis, the book of Rachel, the first chapter, chapter one. Read one, two, three. I want to show you something. Read one, two, three. In the beginning, in the beginning of the creation, what happened? In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Then what happened? Look at it. And the earth without what? Nothing was there. And the earth was without form and form. Anywhere that is vacant, without the word of God, Satan will enter there. When the word was void, empty, the Satan entered. That is the darkness. Look at it. Nobody invited darkness. We are told that God created the heaven and earth only. But before you know it, darkness entered. Who invited you darkness? But if you fold your hand, refuse to speak a word, or refuse to do something, that darkness will remain. You need to arrange the darkness. You need to tell the darkness this is what belongs to you because Satan is under your feet. You need to say, Satan, you are under my feet. Look at it. What happened there? What happened? When God saw it like that, look at it. The spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. Verse 3. Verse 3, what happened? And God said, you must do something. Tell somebody you must do something. And God said, let there be lights. And there was what? Light. Light came. And everywhere was shining. God now said, if I leave you darkness, if I don't do something about you darkness, you will destroy my people. In fact, you may even come back again and take over the whole world. Look at what God did in verse 4. God now separated. He arranged it. Let it be like this. Are you ready to arrange your life today? Are you ready to arrange your life today? Look at it. God said, and God saw the light was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. How did he do that? Go down, go down. How did he do that? He asked, darkness, you take over the night. Is that what is there? And God called the light day. And the darkness, he called the night back. You need to tell the devil you are under my feet. You can't just do this with your mere talking it without doing it. It's a problem. Because you must have the resistance to withstand when they come. That is why so many of us, when the devil come, we are shivering. Even when devil, in fact, some people wanted to be in this service, but devil said, no. You must not be in that service. Two different means. So we are coming. Just ordinary, ordinary shoe. And he look around. Today is Sunday. There is no shoemaker. I better go home and rest. Defeated. You must do something about your life today. Otherwise. Otherwise. You are the target. Because the head is always the target. Remember, the head represents what? Your destiny. The head represents your destiny. When they attack the head, your destiny is attacked. To when the head is off, the life and the destiny is off. So therefore, you must stand up and protect your destiny. Because this world you see is spiritual. It's not a world of butter and bread. The Bible says, since the time of John, the kingdom of God suffers what? 
and the powerless. We must stand up today and say to the devil, you cannot write my life. You cannot take over my destiny. Your destiny is very important. Our destiny has been attacked. How? They have attacked our head. And you need to rise up and take ownership of your life. As you do this, I see you coming out with good news. So very important. Because Satan is not your friend. We have no power of our own. Jesus is the message. He's the one that will prepare us, that will energize us and make us to do his work. That name is ringing and I hear that name singing in your life today. With that name of Jesus, you are going to be made whole. In that name of Jesus, nothing will happen to your destiny. I speak to every destiny that has been battered, shattered. Today, your destiny is coming alive. Your destiny is coming alive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, every one of us, we need light. Without light, we cannot do anything. Who carried the light? Jesus carried the light. He said, follow the one that carried the light. How will you follow devil? The owner of darkness. The destroyer. How will you follow devil? Can a blind man lead another blind man? Why must you follow the devil? I've said to you, devil cannot be your friend. Let God be your friend. Let God take over your life. And God said in Hebrew 12, 14, he said, you can only speak and you can only find me. And I can only dwell in your hearts if you are holy. I come to you. I dwell in your hearts. Any temple that is not holy, God has no business dwelling in that temple. Today, ask yourself, Am I still with the God that created me? If no is the response, you need to come back. Because Jesus is waiting for you. You carry the light. You carry the light. Don't mess yourself up. Don't be deceived by powers of darkness. Don't be deceived by antichrist. No wonder so many people today, we are weak in faith because of the attitude of many of all. How can we say we are pastors when we still patronize occultic power? How can we say we are pastors when we still go and visit Babalao? What do you mean by that? Today, I stand in this altar and I bring down every power of Babalao, I bring them down. Every occultic power, I break them down. Every witchcraft kingdom, let them be roasted today. The name of Jesus is enough for me. The name of Jesus is enough for me. Anywhere I go, this name of Jesus, he make way for me where there is no way. I, I invite you today to carry this name of Jesus. This is the only name that can make way for you. The only name you call and the kingdom of darkness begin to shake. You need that name. If that name come into your life, you are a different being. I pray for you. Receive that name today. Now, note this. Let us not be deceived. This head we carry. See, our hair is a symbol. Because it's a symbol, that is why the devil is hunting for it. Head can be attacked. Head can be caged. This head we carry can be polluted. This head we carry can be manipulated. This head we carry can be destroyed. 
This head we carry can be downgraded. This head we carry can be demoted. And this head we carry can be padlocked. Don't let us be deceived. Any of this, there is way out today. If your destiny has been padlocked, if your destiny has been downgraded, if your head has been attacked, has been manipulated, and if your head has been demoted, today there is a way out. I want you to know that the head can also be bewitched. But any of this, Jesus Christ is here. And today, as you are here, you will receive that power that he has released to us. In Jesus' name. After this message, whatever you lay your hand is going to prosper. Just like Joseph. Have you read it? Two and three. And the Lord was with Joseph. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. He was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master. Uh -huh. The Egyptian. Yes. Three. And, the, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. And listen to that. And the master discovered that God is with this man. Why? Why did he discover that? Yes. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. Do you understand? Everything in his hand prosper. You put something in your hand today, tomorrow. That thing is crying. Somebody employ you in his office. Before you enter, the everything was going well. Immediately you enter there. Wahala don't start. This man will be looking. Ah, ah, what is happening? Before you came, we were doing well, but you just entered. Things have changed. Watch out. Such destiny has been attacked. Because God himself has put in your hand prosperity. And anywhere you go, you carry that prosperity to the place. That is what Joseph took to the land of Egypt. And he was made number one. You are the last person because nothing in your hand that is prospering. But today, the different. <laughs> hey, today, that thing in your hand is going to move with speed after now. Amen. If they have done it, we have come to spoil it. If they have done it in their coven, we have come to spoil it in this altar. And from now on, you render a very small job is giving you a mighty bonus. A little service, big harvest. And from now on, this is how it's going to be. I am the head. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I'm not the tail. I am the head to be at the top. I am the head to be at the top. To be the topic. To be the topic. You know when you are at the top, you will be the topic. That is the reason why you when every ripe mango tree suffer in the hands of every passerby. Because everyone that we pass we pass that place, they must throw a stone. You are ripe. I say you are ripe. Ready to shine. Favor, promotion, prosperity, long life. They are all yours. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Above all, you will be a lender. You cannot be a borrower. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stretch your two hands to the altar. 
Listen to me. Every eye closed. Every eye closed. Yes, Lord. I need to pray for some people. The Lord Almighty revealed and he redeemed. Amen. There's somebody here. You know that the fire arrow of failure to your life. Arrow of failure. Anything you do, don't succeed. Even when you go to a place to help people, you see everything turning around. Everything will be backward. When they employ you, did before you know it, things are moving backward. I just want to show you some signs for you to know. Anywhere you go and you are doing something, they, some people have done it and they are selling. But immediately you put your hand, nothing goes. That is arrow of failure. Fire into your head, into your destiny. Wherever you are, find your way to the front. I'm going to anoint you. And that arrow of failure, we return back to sender. Je Thank you, Jesus. Take it. The touch of eyes of it. Your mother, your mother is still there? Yes, sir. Your mother is still there? Yes, sir. Oh, can you ask your mother what happened? What happened when you were very, very small? When you were very, very small? Has she given you this gist? We're very, very small. You were taken to somewhere. Can I go further? Can I go further? Go far. Huh? Can I it's go further? True, it's true, sir. Have you? Huh? It's true. Yes. Have you been informed? See, you need to speak to your mother. Your mother is going to pray for you. Your mother is going to pray for you because you are facing a terrible, terrible attack. Yes, it's because of this place they have taken you to. Very small. And there is a bridge they are using to accept you. And I'm seeing a mark. And I'm seeing a mark in your body. That is a bridge. But tonight. It's true, sir. Ah, take it, you are free. Uh -huh. From today. Yes. <laughs> take it. You are watching Restoration TV. Man, that woman, God said I should tell you. God has opened your eye. Yes, sir. It's true. It's true. It's true, sir. I see a crown, a white crown and a red crown of the occultic powers. Yeah. And so I, now, okay, it's okay. And God said he has empowered you. He has empowered your, I mean, your, your, your tongue, whatever you speak now. You know what I'm calling you now? 
you must be careful what you speak. Okay, you must be careful because we that have been ordained with that power, when you speak, it comes to pass. You must be very careful. God has opened your eye. You can see witches, but talk less. Okay. Talk less. He said, pray and don't use the same mouth to abuse anyone. So you can see them now. Even he's taking you to their meeting. You'll be seeing where they are holding meeting. Yes, and he said, I should tell you very soon you will go there in the spirit and begin to stop their work. Ah, you need more power. As I lay my hand on you now, receive the grace power. Say power. Somewhere here, you are very close to your helper, but he said you must listen to the voice of God and walk according to instruction because God has answered your prayer. God has answered your prayer. You have a foreign benefit, foreign benefit. You want to travel out? Yes. So, so you have no option. Can you release? Can you release this girl to allow her to get a job now? Yes, I'm ready to go back to my place. Oh, okay, do the restoration. There's no peace right now. There's no peace. There's no peace right now. Everything oh. is scattered. Leave her, let her restore everything. You bury some, take it from the ground. Take it, enter the river, swim. Swim, 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 swim. Enter, 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 enter. Yes. Are you there in the ocean? Go to the depth. Yes. Bring it out from the ocean. This is misery. Watch what God is doing. This is total restoration. Yes. What is that? What is that in your hand? It's a destiny. Oh, her destiny. Her destiny is bad. Now, now, you spirit. Put this destiny on Mary's head. It belongs to Mary. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Put it on her head. That is it. In Jesus' holy name. We pray. Power. What are those things you stole from Agnes? Please. Huh? Peace of mind. Oh, peace of mind. So, so wherever you are, spiritual husband, I terminate you. I from this body, I from today. Don't ever appear to her. What? Co fire. Huh? Fire. It has fire. expired. <laughs> Everything they have done against you today, it has expired. So, spiritual husband, expire. Power. 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 That evil mark in your life is going to be uprooted also. The mark of disfavor. The mark of this favor that everyone around you, including your children, they throw stone at you, they abuse you. It is the man that is in your body. You are going to be delivered today. Amen. Everyone around you, including your children, yes, sir. Hatred here and there. Yes, sir. That is the evil man. Are you ready to approach that man? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, it is true. My children hate me. They hate you. My husband hates me. Everyone. Without cause. There's a mark. They sent me out of my house. Uh, there's a mark. But as I am looking at you today, you are not going home with this mark. Amen. Amen. Jesus is in this altar. Amen. It's in this place. Amen. I lay my hand on you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You want to destroy her life? Shh. Ah! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Libra Soto. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Thank you, Jesus. That is the hour of fire to you last night. Yes. yes, remove it now. Remove it. 
Remove it now. Kapata poshenda. Zipra kara. What I remove from your head? What is in your head? What is in your head? Confusion. Huh? Confusion. Yes. What is there? His brain. Huh? I took his brain. He put what? I took his brain. I don't want him to put. Oh, you took his brain. Yes. <laughs> Anyone that is using your brain today? Fire, fire. All the money. What are you removing from his body? Shame at his grace. Shame at his grace again. Oh. So anywhere he enter, shame at his grace. Poverty. Poverty. Huh? Poverty. Poverty. Bring it out, please. You shove it. You shove it. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. This man is a cameraman, so don't think that he's uh, he's dancing. His deliverance has come today for how many years? When your day don't break, now so it will be. Your day destiny. don't break today. Destiny. That is the destiny. Prosperity. 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 Oh, yeah, put it on his head. Destiny of prosperity. Go straight. Let it go back. With a key in my hand, we call it a prophetic key. In this order, I open it and release the blessing of everyone here. Your blessing that have been delayed. Your blessing concerning your marriage. Your blessing concerning your wealth. Your blessing concerning your family. Your blessing concerning your business. Now I release it now. In the name of Jesus. Your story will shake the whole world. I say your story will shake the whole world. When they call your story, they will say, How did he make it to that cell? Because the Lord has done it. Today, because you are the light of this world, I command you to begin to shine. Anywhere you go, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, begin to shine to everyone you see because the Lord has put light on your forehead so that this light can increase to order in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesied in that office, I opened the key that I've been holding you back. I release you out. I release your ministry out. In the name of Jesus. And today, I open your hand and drop the key. I drop a key to open door for you to take you to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for you. Every spirit of delay, as I speak now, I command that delay to leave you. I command that delay to leave you. In the name of Jesus. What price have you paid? As a pastor, you are still involved committing sin, fornication, adultery, and all sorts of things. And you say it doesn't matter. Oh, no wonder. Very soon it will matter to you. It will matter to you. What is that price? I pray for somebody that is hearing me right now. Wherever you are hearing me in the internet, we are in the house, I pray for you. That inability today, I release you out to the whole world to shine like a star in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord said you can make it. You will not come down. You will move up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every foundational power that I'll be holding you bound right now, I terminate them. Every power that I'll be obstructing you, bringing you down, I terminate them. They are saying, No, no, none of this family can get there. But God say You are going there. I say, You are going up. You are going up. You are the Messiah. That
that your family is waiting for. You are the one that will save your family. Today I open up your business. I pray for that sister. Every moment you are hearing a noise of a bed. In the midnight you are hearing a, a, the noise of the bed. And this is the bed they have covenanted from the village to monitor you and give report. To stop you when the need arrives. Because there is, there is a level the family will move. And that is the purpose of that bed. But as I climb this altar, I command that bed to die. That bed that I'll be sent to monitor your progress, I command that bed to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, I declare to your life, what no man have ever in your family, they say no one have ever been able to do this. Today I release a key to your hand. The key of lifting. The key of increase. To go out there and conquer. Go out there and overcome. Go out there and be in dominion. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Today, what are they saying concerning you? Are they saying that you will not make it, your children will not make it? I am standing in this altar and I declare to your life that you and your family, you will make it from now on. I scatter the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Who is it that declare it in? And it come to pass when the Lord have not said so. Begin to declare to your life. Begin to decree now. Begin to talk to your life. Talk to your life. Talk to your life. Say, God, today I decree. It is my time to make it. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Grace has been released. Grace has been released. Grace has been released. Grace has been released. I want you to raise your hand to heaven. You have told me that people here and those who are watching from the internet, watching from the television, you say they are born to be great. You say greatness has been released to their life, to their family, to their generation. Father, I pray for everyone. Whatever that have been holding down their greatness, let that thing be terminated. I cut off whatever they are using. I cut that rope. I cut that rope. I cut that rope. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for that baby in the womb. I see some, I see some arrow that have been fired to that baby. I pray for that baby in the womb right now, right now, right now. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. They that, they that plan to kill you, I return that arrow back to them. I return that arrow back to them. In the name of Jesus. I set that baby loose. I set that baby free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today I declare every one of you that have listened to this message. You will be great. Your family will be great. Anywhere you go, greatness follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is leading me to pray for somebody here who have been expecting greatness. About to receive, something will happen. About to receive, something will happen. You are rolling back. The Lord said, I should pray for them wherever you are right now. Get me that oil. It's going to be a restoration in this altar to where God wants them to be. Any power that will be rolling them back as they receive this oil of restoration. Today, you are restored. Them out for this, for this, in the name of Jesus. Receive. What is this one? In the name of Jesus. Receive. What is this one for? What is this one for? This one. He said you should take microphone away. Let it talk. It's not free. You are putting microphone. It's not free. Talk to me. Huh? Why do you put this one here? You don't feel like. Do you know there's spirit here? There's spirit here. Huh? Delay. Delay is in this one. You are holding two. One is broken. Huh? One is broken. Yes, one is cut. Look at it. Huh? This one delay. 
actually this is for my friend we stay in the room together he has this one so I just decided to you collected it from your friend the one I'm talking about <laughs> Say anything wrong, you just collected it. You have two rings in your hand, but I'm particular of this, and this is the one you collected from your friends. This one, and you don't know what is there, you just collect. Let be wise, let be wise. Something up to this. Eh? I release you now. I release you now. Stand up, stand up. I release you now. Come here, come here. I release you. I pray. Service. Just hold her, package him. A mark. They put something in your body. What is it? Is it a blade? Is it a blade? They took it long time ago to a place. To a place. It's true. Huh? It's true. It's true. You see, even, even as I'm asking you now, you see, there's some power. Please, you have to disgrace the enemy. Even as I'm talking to you now, some power, I tell you, say, keep quiet, keep quiet, don't talk, don't. I am seeing spirit of death. If you did not do something, spirit of death, I am seeing it. Do you dream? Do you dream? I do you dream? dream? You I dream? dream. I always dream. You always dreaming. Dream. The last dream, your dream, sometime you wake up. <sighs> You are afraid because of those dreams you have experienced. Yes, eh? that is definitely have you met with me before? Have I met with you? Have I talked to you? No, Do sir. you know me? No, sir. Eh? Today is your first time. Be free to me. This is the deliverance God wants to give to you. Did your father tell you anything? Sir? Did your father tell you something? No, my father didn't tell me anything. Sir. Your father, was he a Christian? My father is dead also. Uh, no, was he a Christian? My father is a Christian. Is he a Christian? When we say a Christian, born again Christian, who do not depend on any other thing, go and sacrifice this. No, I belong to Jesus. No other way. Go and bring white cola and the white addition and to make sacrifice. He said, No, this is what I'm talking about. The attack is from your generation. I told you, from your foundation, they have attacked you. Get some culture that they used to do. Uh -huh. I, will not, I will not be ashamed. Hey, no, ashamed. don't be ashamed. If you be ashamed, no problem. I will package you. I will Just go. I want to. I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to prophesy to the next Just person. Like, when you bring, when you bring a own file, we chop. You bring an own file, we chop. You file, file. You, you know, I said it. I said, when you say you are a Christian, I'll not be saying you're going to bring file, file. This, this, that, that. You bring an own we chop. You bring For sacrifice. Own. That is the main problem that is affecting. You see, all. My friends met now, they have dates. It's only God that keeps They've now. gone. Long gone. Long time. And I say there it's is only a spirit of death. They are disturbing me now. Good. Good. Love for Jesus. Can you just I show a child of praise? Who is this God that knows about you? Jesus said, clap of You need to be delivered. You are here today because God brought you here. And God is ready to deliver you. On Tuesday, we are here. Even before you said the story, I've told you spirit of death is pursuing you. Because I see them, they are telling you, come, 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 come. Even those dead people, you see them in the dream. And you still be related together in the dream. Uh -huh. So, now it is deliverance. You will not die but live. So declare the glory of God. Headache. This headache is not ordinary headache. Once it comes, your head like you want to, you want to. It's like they want to pull your head. Yes, sir. It's... Huh? Yes, sir. Do you know it's an attack? It's an attack. It's an attack. But today, as I lay my hand on on you, this headache is returning back to sender. Amen. Because right now it's making you confused. It's making you confused. You wake up in the morning, you are confused. Oh, that is what is happening. That is what is happening to yes, her. Yes, sir. She was confused when she wake up in the morning. You call her. Until um, five will come now, she just behave as somebody that is smart. Did you discuss with me? No, daddy. Have you ever discussed with me? No, sir. Professor. The Lord has the oil for your deliverance. 
this attack will return back to sender. And there's another thing that will be broken. I see the spirit of slavery that is going to be broken away from Amen. you. And because you are here today, it is your time. I command this headache. Go! You need to pray. Your prayer point. Can I give it to you? Yes, sir. You need to pray and break barrier because I am seeing you. I am seeing you. Always coming. I'm seeing if I'm seeing if oh, how do I explain this? The the meaning is this always coming home, always coming home with children. I see the foul with children coming home. Yes, sir, it's true, sir. Huh? I see the foul with children coming home. It's foul true. hand, huh? Yes, sir. You're correct, sir. I always have that in the dream. Always. Yes, sir. You have to pray to release your husband. Those ones that paraded themselves, they are not your husband. Your husband is coming. Are you hearing Amen. me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Your husband will come that will be able to take care of you because not to fulfill the plans and plans of the devil. Those ones were not ready. If you have entered there, he won't spend six months. If you have entered there, it won't spend six months. But God is going to send you your husband. Amen. I release it to you. What you need to pray, pray. The name that is not your own. The name that is not your own. Don't bear that name. Are you hearing me? The name that is not your own. I'm speaking a parable. Don't bear that name. When you marry, do you, how long do you stay in that marriage, in, in that man house? I got married 2009. And you left when? Two years ago. Two years ago. No baby. Eh? Yes. That's where the problem started. And your family issue came in. Family issue came in. Oh, you are not talking to me. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Have you ever met with yes, me? Yes, no, sir. Have you discussed with me? No, sir. No, have I cancelled no, you? No, sir. No, have you tell me your problem? No, sir. But I'm telling you what is wrong. You are right. Because you don't have children in that very house, that is where the problem started. Yes, Family yes. issue now enter. It become yes. a problem, and the only option for you is to leave the house. Yes. Is your? Right. You are very, very correct. She's my sister. She's your sister. Yes. Because of child issue, there was no issue. So the man now became so aggressive, the family stepped in and But you know what? Don't don't just blame the family of your husband. That is their knowledge. But they don't know that it takes time for the best to come to you. How many of you come here? Yes. The best cannot just come just like that. You will not value it. It takes time for the best to come. That doesn't make you a barren woman. Children are around you. But, 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 but because they are not patient. Even your dream, you see baby in your yes, dream. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Huh? yes. Oh, you are not talking to me. Well, let's, let's, let's stand up as we close the service. Sabori Abo. Senda Kabosh. Beyond just a TV program, beyond broadcasting, it will change your life, it will transform you. This is Restoration TV, restoring lives, changing destiny. Restoration TV. Worship with us at Christ Restoration Bible Church International at Dawake, Abuja, Nigeria, or visit any of our churches nationwide. Christ Restoration Bible Church International, taking the message of salvation and restoration to the rest of the world. Building your faith in Christ Jesus with inspirational words. Jesus said, Today is your day. Yeah. If you humble yourself,
Days of services are Sunday 8 a.m., Tuesday, Wednesday 5 p.m., and Friday 6 p.m. at CRBCI Way, Dawaki Extension, opposite Guarimpa, Abuja. For more information, please call plus 234-809-6287-452. Plus two three four eight one seven one five three four three two four. Our social media handles are www.twitter.com slash restoration tv one www.facebook.com slash restoration tv www.youtube.com slash restoration tv www.instagram.com slash prophet ib www.instagram.com slash prophetess faith ib and our website is www.crbci.org.